Well, hey, how's it going? I've had a shave because I was too hot today. I don't know how the hipsters do it. I don't know how they do it. I must get fucking roasting when it's like this. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to be... Ant, how are you doing? Good session today, my lad. You must have been... I did a session at one o'clock after the session with the other guys in the park. I was roasting. I was roast. I was a right sweaty git. I don't know how you, I don't know how you lot do it. Anyway, anyway, you you'll know what I'm going on about here. I've um yeah, Paul's on as well. Bloody hell, you never watch these. <laughs> yeah, lethargy. It's not a place. It's a state of mind. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. And if you're a mart, I was just just look this up because I didn't know whether to say a martyr to it or a martyr for it. But if you're a martyr for it, it means you 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 go after something instead inst which it, well, this is the way I see it. You go after something instead of something else, and that's the thing that you really want. But you're going after this because because that thing you really want, you're not quite sure whether you agree with it or not. Let me explain that a little bit because it might sound a bit vague. Now, a martyr for lethargy. I used to be that, so I used to see fit people, healthy people, and all that. And I like to go out. I used to like to go out and get absolutely shit faced. You know, smoke loads of weed and all that. Started started that when I was fourteen, and then I think when I was eighteen, I started smoking cigarettes. <laughs> Yeah, that's quite late, isn't it? I think I gave up smoking weed when I went to university, which is weird. It should be the other way around, right? But then I started drinking loads. I got into with a, with a bunch of people who just loved to drink, and that that was that was well, I would say that was my university career. But then it was my, and then I got into being a trader, which was my work career, which was very similar. Just getting pissed with a bunch of idiots who, uh, yeah, it was like being at university but with money, which. Um, is is quite dangerous. <laughs> it's quite dangerous. Yeah, yeah. So I became a martyr to lethargy, a martyr for lethargy, as as in I could see people who were doing, you know, at university there was people doing sports and stirring that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ants right, ants right. Do that. Yeah. So I used to be a martyr for lethargy. I was. You know, I would, I would see fit people doing stuff and all that, and I'd be like, you're an idiot, you're an idiot. Why bother? Why bother? I'm fit and healthy, look, when I felt like shit, because I was usually hung over most of the time, but I'm going to live forever. And that's because I was in my 20s, right? And I saw the fit people doing stuff, and I was like, nah, you, you don't need any of that shit. You don't need it. And it was basically because I couldn't do it. So I was scared of it, right? I was... I, I, I went out running once with a couple of university friends who said, right, one of them played football, like loads of them did sport on a Wednesday, which was when I used to finish it, like lunchtime and go and get pissed because uh, I didn't do any sport. And there was, there was a couple of them who said, right, we're going to do some other stuff as well. So we decided to go, they decided to go running and I was like, well, I'll come with you. I got to the end of the street and I had to turn around and go back. I was that knackered. I was that knackered, and I was—I I think I was twenty at the time. So you know, that's not—that's not ideal, is it? So, I, so then I spent, I think, basically until I was twenty-five. That was when I was like, right, I'm, I've got—I've got no interest in all this until I was twenty-five, and then I was like, hang on, I need to do something. I need to do something. So I started going to the gym, and I had no idea what I was doing, and then I did that for ten years, and you know the rest. I did that for 10 years and then learned about all this shit. And I see that all the time. I see that all the time. You might watch these and people are looking at it and go, well, it's all right for you. You know, you might be looking at it and go, well, it's all right for you. You've been fit your, your whole life. I haven't. I haven't. I was talking to a guy yesterday. The, pro the problem with it is, is I'm fit now. I'm strong now. I can do stuff now that I couldn't do when I was 20. I can do way more now, now that I'm double the age that I couldn't do when I was 20. I was talking to a guy who owns next door to me and rents out all the houses and stuff like that, but that's by the by. But I was talking to him, you know, and we're, I mentioned something about this. He asked about how I got into it and all that, and I mentioned something about, like, similar to this. And he was like, oh, I can't imagine you being unfit. I thought you'd have been fit your whole life. And that's because that's who I am now, right? But I'm not kind of, you know, I'm not saying to people, you need, 
you need to be in the gym all the time. And this is the problem I have with, with stuff, with the way people talk, the way people post on Facebook and all of that. You, you as a person, as a man who, who, who doesn't particularly like the gym, who goes into a gym and might be a bit intimidated by it, or just think it's a bunch of idiots, you know, all slinging weights around and it's all bravado and stuff like that with tiny little vests on and the nipples poking out and all that. I haven't gone on about this for a while, but that's not for everyone, right? If you want to do that, that's perfectly fine. Go ahead. But it's not for everyone. So then what that can do is then put you in the mindset to say, I'm not going to bother because I'm going to end up like one of those douchebags. <laughs> you know, and that's what, that's what you might think. So... Then you'll say, right, I'm going to go the opposite way. I'm going to go the opposite way and not be anything like that. All the while thinking, I do want to get fitter and stronger and healthier. I just don't want to end up like that. And I think that's what it is. So rather than looking around at other things, or you might go and find the, the cheapest class you can find where someone will get you to jump around every 20 seconds and then have two seconds rest and then jump around again and then do 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off and you've got to like, stand around, what, what, what am I doing now? It's like, and it, basically in those sorts of things, it doesn't matter what you're doing now, you just do it. Do whatever, you just do star jumps. Every time someone tells you to go, just do star jumps for 45 minutes. You will, uh, for 45 seconds with 15 seconds rest, you will lose weight. You will lose weight if you eat well and do that. You'll also get knackered hips and so ankles and, and you know knackered shoulders and all that sort of stuff that's the way it'll go that's the way it'll go so when i see all of this sort of stuff it's kind of like i don't know it get it it, it 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 doesn't wind me up it concerns me it concerns me because there's lots of stuff out there which will be putting you right off getting fitter stronger and healthier they'll be putting you right off because you think i don't want to turn into one of these one of these people and I'm, there's nothing wrong with the people who advertise like that. I'm not saying there is. I'm just saying it's not exactly the, the... It's not motivational for people who aren't fit. It's motivational for people who are, are fit and then think, right, I now want to be ripped or something like that. That's perfectly fine. And then they know exactly who to go to. But the vast majority of people aren't. The vast majority of people are sit at, de sit at a desk all day, sit in a car all day, going around to sales meetings or working in an office or whatever... And have no idea what to do. No idea what to do. And don't like gyms. And don't particularly like exercise. But I would say that the reason why you don't like exercise is because you're unfit. It's, a, it's, it's one of those again. It's a vicious circle. So then you become a martyr for lethargy. Because then you polarise yourself with the people who are fit and say, at least I'm not like you. When actually, secretly, you do want to be like that. So, I'm going to leave that with you, just to have a think about. Because what's funny is most of the guys that come down to BKS, funny this, funny this, most of the guys that come down to BKS are exactly like I was. Exactly like I was. They want to get fitter and stronger and healthier, but they don't want to go and do it with a bunch of people who are already fit, strong and healthy, and, and have no concept about, of what it's like to be in the opposition. Whereas, I've created a group of people who know exactly what it's like because they all started out there. Some of them have only just started out. Some of them have only just started out. And they, so they know exactly what it's like. And I've had people leave and then, come, and then want to come back. Because they left the thought, no, you know what? It is for me, but I, haven't, I can't afford the time or I can't afford it. They've left and then they've come back and said, do you know what? It's worth it. It's well worth it. Because if I try and do it on my own, I'll, I just won't. I just won't. And these are motiva motivated people motivated in, in other parts of their lives. Work hard. Work hard. But there's more to it than that, right? There's more to it than that. You need to work on yourself. You need to keep yourself moving. Because if your body stops working, you're fucked. Anyway, done. If you want to know where I started, by the way, on all of this, it's in the programme below. Also, listen, read, read what Anne said. I'll read it out to you now. Turn up. Learn to sling kettlebells around. Have fun with everyone. Get fit. Just sign up. That's what he says. It's the dog's bollocks joining. <laughs> yes. And if you get offended by people saying things like, it's the dog's bollocks, it won't be for you. It won't be for you. Yeah, so what's that? Just a pair of 20 kilogram bells today. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, chucking around with Paul, who was on this as well. I don't know if he's still watching. Yeah, so chucking around two 20 kilo bells, you know, and making it look easy as well. And making it look easy, which it isn't. We all know it isn't. We all know it isn't. And it was hot. And you were tired. Uh, I could go on, but I won't. Download the programme, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.